everybody. I want to talk to you about uh, what just happened with Jerry Falwell Jr. Uh, I'm sure that a lot of people are feeling really discouraged about that right now. It just seems like scandal after scandal and disappointment after disappointment keep hitting us as a Christian community. We don't know exactly what happened with Jerry. We know by his own admittance, something not good happened. Um, it, and we know that from what other people have said, maybe it was vastly worse than that. But I do want to encourage us all. Let's keep our eyes on Jesus Christ. It is never a good thing for us to get our spiritual example from other people. There, I think there's a spirit of idolization in the church. We look at pastors. We look at men as the spiritual giant. And Jesus tells us to look at him, not to look at anybody else. Even the great apostle Paul, who wrote so much of the New Testament, tells us to keep our eyes on Christ as he calls himself the least of all the apostles. And so please, let's not get ourselves discouraged and brought down by people. Because even as we look at scripture, we see Gideon, Solomon, Samuel, Eli, even in church history, Martin Luther, people who were great people of God who did amazing things who didn't finish well. That's God's business. It's not our business. Let's not allow them to affect our walk with Christ. There was one man who was perfect in the whole history of the world, and they nailed him to a cross. Let's keep our eyes focused on him. He is the only perfect and good example of who uh, we are need to be as people. I think there's another thing we need to really kind of bring out, though, because I think that statement, as true as it is, can be a little discouraging because a lot of us feel a sense of justice. Well, now, wait a minute. This person is seen as a huge example in the Christian community. I'm not just talking about Jerry. I'm talking about lots of people. And then they have this fall, and we're told immediately, well, we need to forgive. What is all that? Well, when Jesus had all the little children come into him in Matthew 18, 6, and the disciples are trying to keep them away because they're trying to be very religious and holy. And Jesus says, no, 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 I love these kids. And then he says to the disciples, anyone who causes one of these little children of mine to stumble, it'd be better off for him to be dead. Now, Jesus is talking about his people. We're all his children. And so Jesus is saying there will be much justice done to somebody who causes my children to stumble. And because we know that there will be justice, God is the author of justice, and he's the author of mercy, and he's the author of grace. He will do exactly what is the right thing to be done. Because we know that to be true, we don't need to gossip about other people. We don't need to put people down. We don't need to feel angry or feel like something needs to be done to some leader who failed, because Jesus will handle his own business and his own children. What you and I need to do is worry about our walk with Christ. He says in Hebrews 10, 31, talking about Christians who purposely sin and are not repentant, he says it's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Man, that's a pretty scary warning. And so because we know that to be true, let us continue to warn our Christian brothers and sisters who are in sin. Let us continue to pray for our Christian brothers and sisters and even those we don't know who may be celebrities, we want to see Jerry, his wife, and everybody involved in that scandal brought back to repentance because we know that justice will be done by Jesus Christ and he is abundantly merciful to the, to the repentant and he's pretty harsh to the non-repentant. And so let's be grateful that he's not going to judge us by who we are, what goes on in our hearts, but let's say, make sure that we're repentant and that we pray for others so that they can experience the grace that we ourselves would wish we had, knowing full well that justice will be done by our Lord um, to those who are not repentant. I hope this is encouraging to you guys. And uh, remember, our example of who Jesus is, is Jesus and nobody else, because nobody else measures up, especially not me. Thank you, guys.